Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21, and I have a quick review and an unboxing. So let's go ahead and do the review first. So if you see in front of me, we have my Christmas present for my lovely wife. Now if you look at here, this is a wing tote um, RC uh, storage bag, pick bag, and you see here it's filled with well, nice and it's puffed out. So this is a unique product. I haven't seen anything quite like this before, but you know, I think it's kind of a cool concept. So if you notice, like it's kind of puffed up, it's kind of big. So let's take a look at what we got here. So I unzip the top compartment here. And what do we see? We see Slade. And this is kind of cool because Slade, as you know, is a little bit larger in size than your standard wrestler because of the arrow work but he fits in the top compartment here perfectly fine and unzip here second compartment and on the bottom you have dizzy so this is kind of a cool product because like I said, the storage compartment is actually large enough so you can fit a full ape scale uh, stadium truck size car in the bottom. You can see I've got Dizzy here. And you've got these nice hard um, this reinforcement in here that serves to keep it uh, keep it rigid so that you don't, you don't have to worry about the top compartment collapsing down or uh, side impacts basically it buckling when you're out. So it keeps your car fairly well protected in here. And again, the top compartment you know, is intended for, well, it has a little divider here where you can have uh, like just some of your equipment or just random carrying cases like a transmitter box or something like that here. Or as you saw, it's large enough to fit another car. So just as an experiment, I also have over here on the slide, scratch. So I don't know if this guy will actually fit up there. You see it's large enough to make sense. Let's go ahead and actually if I compress the suspension, now it's hard to do this one-handed, so hardness. But, yeah. So if I, if you're not afraid to compress the suspension a little bit, so you can actually get a slash. So an eight scale stadium truck up in the top, as well as another in the bottom. So this is actually a really cool product. So I'm really happy with it so far. The nice thing about it is that we're going here. It actually has a one year warranty, which you know, is, warranties are always good, but it's a pretty durable product. I'm focusing here. So if you guys want to pause and read all the little disclaimers and everything. So, um, yeah, it's, it looks like it has a fairly good warranty for this product. It, the material is nice and uh, it could be high quality. It's padded. So it, um, you know, it provides a little bit of extra protection. And like I said, on the bottom side, um, you have an extra reinforcement there. So you don't have to feel bad about having your car stacked on top of each other. And the way I'll put it, if you're really, you know, skittish about transporting your cars and you want to baby them, you might be a little bit nervous carrying it this way. But honestly, I built my cars, all of my cars to beat the crap out of them. So this would be the least punishment, punishing car today. So the nice thing about this thing is that, you know, if I want to, you know, throw Slade and Dizzy in the car and do some speed runs, or if my son and I want to go do some bashing, we could throw in, you know, a uh, scratch in the bottom and uh, his car tracks on the bottom. I'm sorry, there's tracks on the top, there's a scratch in the bottom and it'll run out pretty fine. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I might do an update later on, you know, just to kind of fall in. Oh, and this is another thing. You know, you have a reinforcement here underneath this to so that the actually there's two reinforcements. I didn't notice that. Maybe one of these is supposed to go in the bottom. Well, anyway, I have two reinforcements here, you know, to help keep this uh, top compartment from collapsing in on the bottom compartment. So, all in all, I'm like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, and actually, let me check. I'm pretty sure that one is probably. Yeah, it's missing there. So that was supposed to go on the bottom side. So I'll fix that. But I'm pretty happy with it. So here's the next thing. So like I said, I have an unboxing to do. So this lovely thing just came in the mail. And as you can see from the shipping thing, this came all the way from China. So 
handy dandy box cutter knife. Let's see how good I am at cutting things open one handed. And it looks like not very, so just give me one second. Okay, it looks like I'm better at this than I thought I was. Alright. Okay. So. Oh, ho, ho. What do we have here? Now, this is something I was going to publish a quick tip on. But I figured I might as well just go ahead and you know, do it this way. So this guy right here came all the way from China. And let's take a look at what we got here. New in the package. Castle. Well, Newcastle 2650, uh, 2650 KV motor. You know? So, you might say, uh, didn't you just get one of these? Uh, yeah, I did. As it turns out, okay, there's a story. And I mentioned this in my last uh, video. Um, so, I saw this thing listed from China at on eBay at $75 for free shipping. And I just thought that this was too good to be true. This had to fall off a truck or something. So I figured for $75, I could go ahead and give it a shot and see what will happen. You know, just to see if it's real and go ahead and use it like really dizzy. Then I discovered that it, um, I got a great deal on the other one from a domestic company. So now I have two. So you, I'll keep posted and you'll see what I'm doing in the upcoming future. Okay, guys, just for completeness sake, I decided to go ahead and, and uh, make sure the scratch fits in here uh, in the bottom compartment uh, nice and securely. And as you see, he does fit pretty well. It's a tight fit, but it's a, it's a good fit. And, um, you know, there's not a whole lot of extra room around the RC, so it won't be flopping around or anything. But as you can, you can see, it has some nice sturdy walls, so it's holding everything in place. So... You don't have to worry about this bag collapsing. I confirmed that that extra pad is actually the floor for the bottom end. So it's actually sealed in from all sides. So it's pretty good. And seal up here. And this top compartment, like I said, you know, so still have secure so you can have a kit up here or you can put your, your some support equipment. So if you're just taking one car on the road and you need to, you know, throw in like a transmitter or a you know, small toolkit or something you can actually fit stuff in here i mean this is not going to replace my go box for example but if i just want to go out to the local park and just do some running around i'm sure it'll work fine this right here is just you know this uh informational seat that came sheet that came with it now go ahead and hold this for a little bit so if any of you guys want to pause and take a quick read as to what the manufacturer has to say about it all right there that ought to do it for you and this is just you know a little marketing sheet for it so again this particular one is the wgt 381 short course truck tote and as you can see it's got you know good dimensions on it so it's you know, surprisingly um it's a surprisingly good buy i think so um all together i think this my wife probably paid 40 to actually i think it's like 50 to 60 dollars for this particular tote but i think it's worth every penny it's a good it's a good unit well thought out oh and another little thing that i did mention before it has this little pocket here on the front i'm not really sure what i would use this pocket for but it's available so it's just one more storage option so you know let me know what you guys think uh and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um you know, feel free to share any impressions about this, this particular product. I know Dan P uh, did a review of another one of Wing Totes products, um, uh, uh, their large carrying bag. So uh, if any, any of you other guys out there have any, of, any more of the products and want to share anything, please feel free. So as always, guys, remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, there's a reason for the season and happy holidays and enjoy your time off. Make sure you get out there and, you know, try to make the most of this upcoming year, but I won't get on the soapbox. So, but again, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Our House 21 signing out. Peace.